just focusing on that, that interest rate story, if you believe that the central bank is going to be raising rates in, in, uh, in a year's time, then typically what happens is that the fixed interest rates move a lot more, a lot earlier than the floating rates. So at the moment, with the three year swap rate around 2.93, I expect that to be fairly steady, but you'll find the fixed rates will move six to eight months before the floating rates. And every other tightening cycle that we've seen in Australia, um, uh, you say you take the 2009 cycle, uh, rates bottomed out in February 2009, uh, the Reserve Bank didn't move until October 2009, but by the time they had moved, those fixed rates were up by 180 basis points. So uh, we've seen the situation in New Zealand this year where the fixed rates were higher the day before the central bank moved and it tightened on four occasions uh, than, the last, than the last hike. So you have to be very careful if you're managing interest rate risk to understand that markets are very preemptive, they do move well ahead of the central bank, uh, and if we, if the central bank is in a tightening phase in the second half of next year, then they will move certainly move uh, well before that. But let me talk about the extraordinary market pricing at the moment. Market pricing at the moment, in fact, is in denial about any interest rate increases. Uh, and I would imagine that given the developments in the markets overnight, that 30 basis points that the market has for a, in hikes in 2016 will be even less. So what I'm doing here is contrasting our view against the market view. So the market is pricing in nothing for interest rates next year and virtually nothing for interest rates in 2016. Uh, that's extraordinary and it's as, it's as big a discrepancy that I've, I've seen between our own forecasts and the market. The market is obviously telling us that the world economy is going to be a very unpleasant place for an extended period uh, because our forecasts around uh, uh, um, an unpleasant place for, for an extended period and the Australian market will behave very unusually in terms of how it will behave relative to the US. Because if we look at the red bars there, the red bars are the average forecast of the 16 voters around the Fe Federal Open Market Committee. 16 people make the call on interest rates. And they are saying that in two th by the end of 2015, the Fed, the Fed will have raised rates by 150 basis points. That's six rate hikes next year. That's what the decision makers uh, on average are saying and in 2016, another 150 basis points. Now, I think that's extreme. I don't think the Fed will be moving anywhere near as aggressively as that. Uh, I think probably a better guide is what I would call the reasonable doves are. There's two voters around that table who I believe are much more influential than the others. Uh, now, we don't know exactly whether the two reasonable doves are the two people with the... Um, with the influence because they don't name themselves, but there are two people who are saying, no, we only need one hike in 15 and maybe six hikes in 16. I think that's probably closer to the mark and we don't expect the Fed to be moving until September next year with two hikes next year. Uh, but in that environment with the Fed moving, it's gonna be very hard if the world economy is looking well, as I think it will be, it'll be very hard for the Reserve Bank to behave in the way the market, the market is currently expecting. So if that's right, if the market is wrong on this occasion, then it does provide extraordinary opportunities uh, for people to lock in their interest rate risks. And that's certainly something that I think is, really does stand out in this current market environment. Uh, I guess the third way to look at it is where do we see the Fed and where does the market see the Fed? So we've looked at where the decision makers see their likely policy response. This is how the market is currently pricing the Fed. Uh, three hikes uh, next year and another, another four hikes in 2016. So it's the general consensus that the Fed will be raising rates next year and into 16. And yet our market is saying Australia can be unaffected by that, even though we've got a very strong housing market and we, we have a central bank that's worried about excesses in that market sitting on their hands. So I think at the moment we've got some really, really unusual uh, discrepancies in what's happening in, in markets. And that's not surprising 
given that huge lift we've, recent, we've recently seen in volatility and given the concern that people have around the end of quantitative easing.